Hello everybody, my name is Christian Quick, and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about making a jar file, and then uh, putting it inside of your Minecraft, putting your mod in your Minecraft world. And there is a little bit of an extensive process if you've never done this before, but once you do it once, you know how to do it uh, from then on. And then there's all other mods that we'll be dealing with to get the whole process ready. Hopefully it's not too complicated, but hey, this is basically a 10 minute video, so it can't be that hard, right? So the first thing that you're going to need is your Gradle properties. This is the most important thing. Uh, is knowing all these numbers a little bit. All you really need to know is the loader version. It's the most important thing because in your, I believe your fabric mod, it, there's something in the mod that says your in your dependence, it needs to be at least 0 0.14.13 or higher. So if you have a higher version, you are fine. And actually, I do have a higher version. So like when I open up my, my Minecraft launcher, my regular Minecraft launcher, um, I actually downloaded the installer for 0 0.14.14, even though this is in 13. So because it's a higher version, it'll still understand this stuff. If it was the other way around where this is 0 0.14 and I'm trying to load a 13, that's not going to do it. This is the one that's going to need to be higher. But what if you don't have a fabric loader? How do you, how do you get one? Um... If you don't have a fabric loader, you're going to have to go into, on here, just look up the fabric uh, loader. Uh, and then if we go into here, uh, you can, installation, you can, to install fabric, you need the fabric loader, which you can download here. And then just download for Windows. I might get a little plus one because I've done this many times in the past before. And then in your EXE, you can open that up. And then in here, it's going to say, hey, what stuff do you need? And this is where you're gonna really need to know where that stuff is in your Gradle properties. So really easy stuff. And no one ever really forgets the <laughs> Minecraft version they're working on right now. We're in 1.19.3. And like I said, your my loader version is 0 0.14.13. So you cannot do 12 or anything lower than that. It has to be 13 or higher. So even if I kept it 19, it should still work perfectly fine. If you have troubles, make it the exact same one see if it works uh, and then you can hit install and what that will do is it will install it to your minecraft launcher make sure your minecraft launcher anything minecraft is completely closed when you install that launcher and then the next time you open it up it will uh it'll be here so now that the installer is on your minecraft the mods aren't actually put in it you need to add each you need to add a couple things to your mods folders so um it's going to be three things. First, you're going to need API, which can process mods. You're going to need your actual mod, and then you are going to need your uh, gecko lib. And the reason we're going to need gecko lib is because we made an entity. If you did not make a custom entity, you do not need gecko lib whatsoever. Um, so that's that's the basics. So let's go over the um, the the R mod first I guess it it doesn't really matter so it, how do you make how do you make a jar file go in your terminal you're gonna do slash uh, dot slash uh, in that order dot slash please uh, grade gradle oh get my mouse out of the way so you can probably read it uh, gradle w and then build and then hit enter this will take a couple seconds um, it's loading it's loading <laughs> And look at that, six seconds, boom, build successful. Now, where do I find it? It's going to be wherever your Minecraft folder is. So this is my Minecraft tutorial folder. And then I have a build file. And inside of that, you have your libs. And inside your libs, which is short for libraries, it's going to have your jar, your jar and your sources. Ignore the sources. You just need this jar. So we're going to keep this on the side here because we're going to need that for later. And eventually, we're going to have to stick that in our mods folder. The other two things that we're going to need is the gecko lib and the um, the API. So let's go back on here and let's look up the same thing. So this would be fabric API for 1.19.3. Uh, you can go into your mods. Now, CurseForge uh, updated their whole page, and I found this very confusing, and I, I didn't like it. I didn't like it one bit. But you know what? It's perfectly fine. Uh, well, you just need to make sure... It doesn't really matter the, the version that it's on. What you need to make sure that is correct is that you have a, a fabric 
So they usually shove other things in here sometimes. Um, but just make sure that it says fabric and that it's got the version that you're looking for. Not a snapshot, not a different version. So 1.19.3 fabric. And right here it says release, not a beta. So from here, we can just uh, download the file. Don't install in the CurseForge app. That requires a completely di different setup than what I'm teaching you. Download the file. Click on it. It should bring it up down here. It'll go to your downloads folder. Perfectly fine. Um, so that is one thing down. Perfect. So the other thing that we are going to need is the gecko lib. So let's look up the uh, gecko uh, gecko lib, and then let's look up 1.19.3. Uh, so here it is again, here is the curse forge. And so here we have gecko lib and like, this is where I'm saying, like, sometimes they are different. You need to pay attention to this. So let's make sure fabric 1.4. That's not what we're looking for. Go a little bit down until we see fabric in 1.4. Go down until you see fabric 1.3. Beautiful. Found one. Great. Fantastic. Um, so this is 0.4.6. However, I'm going to go into our mod here. Uh, keep in mind, if you uh, if you don't have a, a, a custom entity, you don't really need to do this part. Uh, Build.gradle, I think, is where it is. Let's go to our dependencies. So this is 4.0.3. So I think dot six will still work, but um, if you're having trouble, if you install this one and it gives you a trouble, uh, actually, why don't we? We could probably do it. It's fine. Uh, one dot so the zero dot four dot six. Oh, forge. Ah, I almost made that mistake. Uh, quilt fabric for the dot six. Perfect. Could you imagine if I made that mistake? Uh, download the file. Great. So now we have a gecko lib, a fabric version, and our uh, well, we don't need our installer, but we do need these two. So let's show in folder and make sure that we have these two. And then uh, there is two ways to open up your Minecraft folder if you've never opened up your Minecraft folder before. So you can either do it the long way. Uh, so let's go and open up our uh, libraries. And then we're <laughs> going to go into your operating system, your OS. And uh, if you don't know, go into View, uh, Show, go to uh, Add File Name Extensions and Hidden Items. Otherwise, when you go into your users and your uh, your whatever your thing is called, app data doesn't automatically show. See how it's a little bit darker? So it won't show because it's known as a hidden item. So make sure your hidden items is shown. Otherwise, it won't. Click on that and then go into roaming. And then right now, this is, um, this is where you kind of need to be. So if I kind of close out of this, another way you could do that entire thing, a lot of people do it this way. They go in here and they go to percent it app data per uh, percent Oops, did I just delete the whole thing percent app data percent enter and right here it does the same thing operating system users whatever your user is the app, app data why am I saying it like that <laughs> roaming uh, and then here you have your your dot minecraft and then you have the the mods folder this is where everything's gonna be I'm just gonna do I have just a spare folder somewhere we're I don't want to shove it in secret code. Uh, let's let's add another folder, and I'm just going to shove these in here in case I need them back later for something else. All right, so let's go into our libs. So remember how we have our libs, and this is where our mod is. Drag that, and you can choose to copy it if you want. I always copy them uh, rather than just carry it over. And then let's go into our downloads, and let's put in the gecko lib fabric installer. Bam, shove those right in there. So now it is fantastic. So in this current version, we have now made a build, so let's test it out and see if our Minecraft folder works. So this is our mods folder. So we have the most updated recent stuff. Let's hit play and see if it works. Uh-oh. <laughs> Okay, I have no idea what that was about, but apparently it worked. That was very scary. Good thing we're updating this because, oh my, that was, 
that was really scary to look at. <laughs> All right, so let us uh, ignore that. Um, let us open a new world, and we're going to say, whoa, this is going to be oh, over soon. Let's put this in creative, create new world. And so now we are in the official Minecraft world. It's got all my 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 data saved and stuff like that. Um, where you're you're, you're going to find some crazy stuff about me in a moment. Um, all right. So here automatically we have our generating pool in the planes. And if we go into Savannah and stuff like that, all our generation should be working. If we go in creative, all our stuff is completely loaded. Uh, normally I put this extra stuff, I make another tab and I call it testing and then I just shove these things specifically in there because, um, it makes this look cleaner without them. And because I also make a lot of technical stuff and stuff that I'm working on, I put that in testing as well. Um, but as long as they're unobtainable in actual survival, I personally don't care. Um, it probably looks unprofessional, but... Hey, it's it's work it's working it's working. That's all that matters. I never made a spawn egg for the floofers. I should have probably done that. But as long as the floofer still works, oh my m music is okay. Let's put it at five. I don't know if you can hear everything because it said I think the wrong setting. It's perfectly fine. Um, but if I add, uh, slash summon uh, HMH three floofers, so the floofers work. See. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm getting out of here. All right, so your 1.19.3, it is your official uh, Minecraft 1.19.3. Working perfectly fine. Good. All right, and that is going to sum up this video with building a jar file, making it all, putting it all together, uh, getting all the version stuff out. It's it's all there. It exists. It's fine. Uh, I still got to make a couple of videos, so I was going to make an advancements video, but I'm not going to do that anymore because that's going to be, that's part of data, so that's now going to be moved to the 1.20 series, but I will be still continuing with a couple other series, uh, post series, so I'm going to be working with experimental features, so there will still be other future videos coming out after um, the last one, which should be technically the next one, which is going to be updating Minecraft 1.19.3 to 1.19.4. Um, so I'll make a video on that, but for now, that is going to be it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching and without further ado,